Yeah. We back again. Tron and Kimberly. Moses. Welcome to Team Moses Vlogs. Will you watch us do life? And enjoy marriage. On our journey. I love you. You love me. I love you. You love me. I got you back, baby. I got you back, baby. I love you. You love me. I love you. You love me. I got you back, baby. I got you back, baby. I love you. You love me. I love you. You love me. What's up, team? What's up? So, you guys, I just got to tell you about this corny pickup line. <laughs> so, today I went to go check my P.O. box because I have a client and he's bugging me about something. So, I was like, well, let me go check the P.O. box. So, I get up there and then as soon as I get ready to get out of this car, this old man rushed in front of me. I'm like, okay. And then he said, you guys, this is so corny. He said, I must have been dreaming. I was like, what? So then I was like, what are you talking about? He said, for you to look that good. I was like, excuse me? I said, I'm married. He's like, well, I'm married too. But still, I must have been dreaming. And I was like, I'm going to tell your wife. <laughs> you can't have my wife. Matter of fact, I want like, you to point him out. It's like, I mean, he was like old, like grandpa old. See, he called Not, me. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you what he said today. He should have used the line I use. I said, hurry up and give me your number before I don't want it no more. He didn't say that. And she gave it to me. She he said, didn't Here. say well, that. Let me, let me hurry up and give it he to you before that. you change your mind, Mr. Tron Moses. He didn't say that. Actually, he was in my inbox first. No, you inboxed me. Remember, you inboxed me. No. Yes, you did. I just said, no, baby, you inboxed me first. You trying to trick me. He said, thank you for accepting my friend request. And then I said, oh, no problem. But then I said, I follow your YouTube channel. He inboxed me for he got me confused for a second. He inboxed me first. And then he was short. He was short with me. He was short with me. And then, babe, babe, I'm talking. Hey. So he, he was short with me. And then I think like a few months later, he was like, You are so I never told nobody this, but you're so photogenic. Next time you come to the Carolinas, I'll take a photo shoot with you. XYZ. So he 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 was looking for me from the start. He stalked me. He stalked me for two weeks. Yeah, you did, babe. But it's okay. Look where we at now. Yeah. Don't want to be stalked. I don't want to be stalked. I don't even think about no man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he said, look where we at. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, T, I just want to show you. Anyways, T, I just want to tell you about that corny pickup line. I must have been dreaming. I don't hurt at all, you guys. <laughs> corny, 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 corny. And he had a wife. I, I, I started praying for him. I said, God, let all these men out here be faithful to their wives. I was mad. You should say, I was, I was heated. I was mad for about maybe two hours. Because I, I don't like that, you guys. You know, marriage is beautiful. It's sacred. It's a covenant. We got to treat it as such. You know? So I was mad. You know, I fight for these marriages. I go hard for some marriages now. You don't, devil, we see you. You don't destroy God's we covenant. See you, yeah. So I go hard for marriage. Faithful. Yeah, you better be faithful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he kisses me all the time, you guys. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing, team. So I'm writing a book. Uh, cost me everything and this is incest incest so i'm writing a chapter on incest uh it's gonna be awesome you know uh the holy spirit's giving me creativity so the ideas are just flowing 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 and it's gonna be a game changer like we're gonna target the loss on this and we're gonna say like incest cost me everything fornication cost me everything 
fear cost me everything we're gonna have our facebook live interview so when we do these interviews i need you guys to support because we family so i can't wait it's gonna be awesome the book is anointed 17 anointed writers and i'm pushing them to write their own book after this i said you guys i want those endorse i want to write an endorsement in your book i want to write the forward for your book so let's do this amen so i've been busy this season pushing other people to the purpose and it's fun you know god gave me anointing for it so i love it yeah i'm gonna birth all the greatness up out of you so anyways I'm going to get here, um, finish this chapter. My sister's about to come and her her husband, her kids, in like 45 minutes. So they'll be here shortly. So i got to hurry up and write for the kids. Oh, your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's got sparkles in it. You can stop. Oh, both that girl in here. Oh, man. Oh, no hole. Hey, Jordan. It was blue and then I put brown in it. Because I mixed the two slimes together. God! Alright, thank you. Yeah, that's what says. Okay, team. So, sister came visit, uh, and she took my mom, Mariah, uh, to the movies. They're going to see a dog's way home, I think. Yeah. And she got me a gift. Yeah. Look at this. Chocolate. To I think it's toffee chocolate. This is nice. Her husband, Jerry, uh, he loved this. He ate a bunch of this. Yeah. And then she also got me a little plant. Yeah, which is kind of nice. Let me see if I can show it to you. Yeah. Isn't it nice? They went to the botanical garden. So, yeah. And it's called something. I don't know what this stands for. Bright light something. So, yeah, got a little plant. What's up, team? I'm editing vlogs, trying to get back in the flow of things, because we just got off course, but we back, we back. Going to try to keep this Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing. And then at, when time free up, I guess at some point, at some point, we'll go back to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Time going to have to really free up for that. i am be honest with you, I don't want time to free up. You know, I want to stay busy, but... Monday, Wednesday, Friday is good. Don't y'all think? Yeah. And I want to start to shorten the vlogs, too. I want the vlogs, like, this vlog I just finished is 20 minutes. I really want the vlogs to be no more than about 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes. Yeah. I don't want it to be, I don't want to bore y'all. I don't, yeah, I just want to keep, Keep it short and simple. And keep it short and simple. For this song, I don't know if I told you, I originally made this beat for a client, for uh, a commercial, a book commercial. I originally made it for the client, but when I was listening to it, I was like, man, I like this. I like this. I don't like every beat I make, I'm going to be honest with you. Some beats y'all don't hear, and then some beats y'all still hear on the vlog that I, I don't think is that beat, but it is a hype. So I use it. But when I heard this beat, I loved it. So I started, I said, I'm gonna keep it for myself. Started talking on it. And originally what I wanted Punkin to do was talk on the beat too. And she started singing. So I said, that's it. That's our new intro. Cause I really, I, I wanted our intro to be something that I did, you know? 
Because the other one that we had for so long, that beat that we had for so long, I didn't make that beat. People was asking, did I make it? Here's your answer. I didn't make that beat. I um, got it offline. It was a free beat, so I used that for a long time. And I still love that beat. But I wanted, I wanted the intro to be something that we did. So when I was talking on the intro and... And the reason why when they come on and I'm going, yeah... Cause that's something I used to do. I used to make CDs back in the day, and I used to talk on. I used to make. Say I made a CD about twenty songs on it, right? I used to talk on about four songs and introduce them. But when the CD would come on, cause I had a microphone and stuff, when the CD would come on, I'd be like, "Yeah." So, with the echo and effects and stuff, so that's why I did that. But yeah, I originally wanted her to talk on it, but you see, it came out. I love the way it came out. I got your back, baby. I got your back. And no, we don't do secular songs. This is it's just the intro. It's just the intro. I can let you hear a lot of stuff that we did. Is, um, everything we did is... I, I say Christian. I say Christian music. I won't really say gospel, because when I think of Christian music, and we probably talked about this before, when I think of Christian music, I think of love songs to God. Like gospel, there's some gospel songs I like, but I mostly listen to Christian music because it's all about Christian music. It's all about God. It's love songs to God. Like I heard a gospel song one day and it's about, I'm going through, I'm going through, I'm going through. I'm like, when you going to get through? But, but, but Christian songs, Christian music is, is focused on God. It's love songs to God. Yeah, so that that's that's what I want. You know what I'm talking about? When I wanna when I'm ready to spend time with God and I just wanna worship, I'm not throwing on I'm going through. <laughs> I'm trying to forget my problems. You know, I'm trying to focus on him, make him bigger than my problems. I'm trying to cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. So I love Christian music. So music we do, that's what it is. This I Got Your Back, Baby, this is the only thing that I would consider not Christian. Only because it's the intro. It's for the intro. You ain't going to never hear us do a song that don't focus on God. But anyway, I don't went there too long. But anyway, team, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm Let me save this. Let me save this. It's 22 minutes. Let me save what I got because there have been times where... I either mixing a song or doing a vlog, excuse me, some kind of video and then say, you lose all your work. Now some programs, they auto back you up, but then, I guess I'm rambling. You know when you're happy to see somebody, you just talking and you talk, 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 and they talk, talk, talk. Just happy, I'm happy to be back team. I'm happy to be back with y'all team. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know we ain't tell y'all, but Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, let me save this. See, my routine is, before I save the uh, vlog, I always go on the vlog and find a picture in there, something I want a picture of. Snapshot the picture from in the video editing program. From in the video editing program, and a snapshot, whatever's on the screen of the uh, the video, then I make that the um, the thumbnail. Then I take that to Photoshop, put some words on it, save. Uh huh. We go. And so y'all know. The video that I'm editing right now, the video I just finished editing, is No More Holding Back. That's the one that came on Friday. No More Holding Back. See, I got to say it like that because by the time y'all see this video, that's the one that came on Friday. This is the one that came on Friday. All right, now my routine, go to Photoshop. Go find the picture, put the words on it, upload it as a thumbnail. So I got nice programs for everything I do. Photoshop for the photos. 
I use Magic Video X, Magic Video Pro X for uh, video editing. I love it. I love it. So my wife wanted me to go with Premiere Pro, but I love Magic. I just love the way it's just, it's just, it's just easy. It got everything I need. I don't be doing no high tech video editing anyway, but it got all that if I need that too. And for and for music, I use I use Persona Studio One and Pro Tools. Cause I might I might make a beat in uh, Studio One and bring it to Pro Tools, or I might make it in Pro Tools. Cause I got programs in Studio One. I got uh, plugins in Studio One that I can't use in Pro Tools. I got an instruments that I can't use in Pro Tools and instruments in Pro Tools that I can't use in Studio One. So I make beats in both places. That's my routine. What up, team? So you guys, it's a cold day. Yeah, in January, I guess I got like some cold front coming through because it's like cold like every day. At first it was hot, now it's cold. So it's been cold, it's been like in the 30s and the 20s, and it is cold. You know, you guys, I'm so cold nature, and I just don't like being cold. So, anywho, my curls, I went out. I haven't wrapped my hair. I'm supposed to wrap my hair and tie it down every night, but I'm just like, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to do something to my head later. Uh, you know, recurl it and wrap it down. Yeah, so it can look right. Anywho, guys, I have to tell you something. Like, you are not going to believe what just happened. Today on a call, prayer line, we pray Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Uh, for tongues of fire and 12 noon. Just whatever God is leading us um, to pray out of one of my books. So today, uh, we were praying for the sick. And you guys, you are not going to believe this. We're praying for the sick. And, you know, I ended the prayer early. And I said, you know what? I want to take some prayer requests. Who's on here sick? A lady came forth. She said that she had arthritic hands and her hands were crooked. So we prayed. Um, and each time we prayed, the more God moved. We prayed. The first time she said the stiffness and the pain was gone. We prayed again. Then we commanded her fingers to straighten up and her hand to be restored. Just like the man in the Bible with the withered hand that Jesus prayed for. And first her hand started straightening up she's like oh my god my my fingers are like 30 percent more straighter you know or 30 30 percent straight so you prayed again then god straightened up her pinky and then we prayed again and god straightened up all her fingers on her hand when i tell you i was just in awe i couldn't even contain myself i was just crying so hard and just praising god so hard everybody on the line was just praising god so hard i never seen that miracle before in this ministry so I was like God yeah so I just thank God just for him and thank God for uh you know my my apostle imparting into my life uh, I thank God for you know my husband pushing me forward and I just I thank God for what he's doing on the prayer line we're not just on there just praying no we're on there changing and shifting things in our region even right now I just feel some anointing coming so anyways i just want to share that with you um so call sometimes call uh and, and let us pray for you um so i'm excited you guys so i'm on my way right now to go pick up my mom from school then we'll get raya and i brought my laptop you guys um i'm almost done with this book i have a chapter to write uh one more chapter and an intro to write and i'm done i think i wrote like nine chapters see this book right now we're writing is called It Cost Me Everything. See, I, this everything I wrote can just be a book by itself because it's about 20,000 words. And that's like my average book. But now I have to include 17 other chapters from, um, excuse me, 16, 16 other chapters from um, the co-authors. So it's going to be about like a 50,000 a 50, word book, a thick book, which is good because it's nano month. It meant in the publishing world. Uh, so most people, uh, they have a challenge right now that's going out for them to write a 50,000 K book, you know, so it's, it all worked out. But yeah, I have my laptop right here and I'm going to, I'm going to sit up here and while the kids are, you know, while I'm waiting in the carpool line, I'm going to pull the car over and wait and write, I need to write this chapter today. 
I'm gonna finish it today because I got so much to do and I, I love getting the projects done and starting to work on new stuff so you guys it's been real it's been fun I'm gonna see you on the next vlog this is I love you you love me I love you you love me I got you back baby I got you back You love